number one thing not to do to your transmission. What's going on guys? My name is Rami and welcome back to yet another episode of Arky's Garage, an automotive YouTube channel where I give you the ins and outs of car knowledge. And if you're new to the channel and you're stopping by, hello, welcome. It's so great to see you. I really hope you like this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button to be a part of my community. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. It's a great week, another great video guys. So great to see you. Thank you for supporting. And if you're asking Rami, why is there a sink? In your garage well we're doing a home remodel in the kitchen got a whole new kitchen going around so garage is a little crazy right now but forget about that we're learning something very important today all right let's wrap for a second the automatic transmission is without a doubt one of the greatest innovations in automotive history now the manual transmissions make up about two percent of the new car purchases hashtag save the manuals at a first glance it may seem easier to drive an automatic than a manual transmission, but that doesn't mean drivers shouldn't take caution when they're driving an automatic car. Now, while driving an automatic may seem to be a breeze, there are several mistakes that every driver should avoid at all costs. Now look, there are countless ways you can unintentionally ruin your transmission. Whether it was unintentional, whether it was a mistake, whether you're in a rush, it all could be an effect. So I'm gonna be giving you five things on what not to do to an automatic transmission so I can ensure that you can keep your car's life lasting much longer. Are you ready? Cause I am. Let's get after it. Coming at number five, keeping your car in drive when you're idling for a long period of time. So let's give some different scenarios here. Let's say you're stopped at a stoplight that you know is gonna be a minute before you're gonna go. Or let's say you're stuck at the train tracks and a train is coming through. Just turn off your car, or better yet, put your car into park because this will emit less heat coming out of your transmission and you have a better chance of not overheating your transmission. Let me show you. So here we're stuck at the train tracks and a train is coming through. Instead of having your foot on the brake, the whole time you can either just turn off your car or better yet put your car into park that way it'll at least not be giving power to the wheels and that way it won't be emitting a lot of heat so all in all this will just emit less heat coming out of your transmission which is just safer for your car and it's just going to keep things running smoother and longer for a long period of time so just make sure you put in a park or honestly just turn off your car and it'll be the best of it might be thinking this will save you some gas and it somewhat makes sense you are driving downhill so why not put your car in neutral and let gravity do its thing and take over by letting you coast but in reality it's the opposite today's modern cars are designed to save fuel when driving down the hill even when the car is in drive engines will cut the fuel supply so less fuel gets burned as you're coasting downhill so the new cars are already doing this and there are three major no-nos to this one, having your car in neutral will give you no control. Yes, you can brake, but you can't speed up and in case of an emergency situation where you need to. You'll lose control and not have the full control of your car. So it's always important to keep your car in drive when driving, especially because the transmission is a huge part of it. Number two, when you put your car in neutral, you're cutting off all the power that goes to the engine and cutting the car's oil supply. So the transmission doesn't get the proper lubrication for smooth shifts and normal operation. This results in significant damage to the transmission. Number three, so when you put your car in neutral, the car's engine will run at its lowest RPM, which in result, your oil pump working at the slowest in neutral, which means oil isn't getting pumped through the engine as it should, resulting in potential overheating and other major problems. So it's all connected. If you're driving down the hill at 35 miles an hour, your car will think it's five miles an hour and not push enough fluid through the engine. So just keep it into drive regardless of wherever you're driving. All right, coming in at number three, we can all attest that this has happened to us, but we're driving around, our hands on the shifter, and we accidentally bump the shifter. We bump it up, you know, we might bump it down. Just making sure you're not bumping the shifter. Yes, you can sit your hand. We all do it. I sit my hand on my shifter all the time, but just be very careful not to shift it around unintentionally when you're driving. This could cause issues. It's just extra wear and tear that doesn't need to happen to your car. So making sure you don't bump that shifter is definitely a slight one that's also very important. really hope you guys are enjoying this video all right coming in at number two did you know that park was made to keep your car from rolling away so before the automatic transmission was made everyone drove manuals and in manuals there wasn't park there was an emergency brake so park was a whole new system now with technology being so advanced 
cars now have speed sensors and they won't let you put your car into park before you're coming to a complete stop. But for older cars, this is a very important thing. Do not put your car into park until you are at a complete stop. This wasn't made to stop cars. This was made to park cars. So when your car is in park, its transmission is locked up, meaning that your wheels can't move when you put the car in park. There's a little pin inside of the transmission called the parking pawl that's inserted into the gears. And these gears are connected to the output shaft that's connected to the wheels. So the parking pawl stops the gears from rotating, AKA from your car moving. So shifting your car into park forces that pin inside the gears. And that pin isn't strong. It's just a small piece of metal that gets wedged in between two gears. A moving transmission can easily damage that pin when it's forced into place. So never stop your car with your transmission. You stop your car with your brakes. And before we get to the number one thing not to do to your transmission, be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Putting your car from reverse to drive without your car coming to a complete stop and vice versa. This is the worst thing you can possibly do to your transmission. And let's be honest, we've all been guilty of it from time to time. I have been, you have been, we've been impatient, we're in a rush, we need to turn around really quick in a driveway. But whatever it is, please make sure you have enough time for your car to come from to a complete stop before shifting into gears. So the actual engineering behind why it's so bad, it's very intense and very specific, but I'll try and give you a very simple example. So let's say you're in drive your gears are gonna come in this motion right here's the here's the gears here's the teeth they're gonna come together and fuse together and they're trying to keep rotating and rotating the faster you go the faster the gears go so when you're changing from drive to reverse the gears stop going this way and they start going this way so they're going the opposite direction so when you're in that split second from reverse to drive or drive to reverse you're gonna do this motion instantly and change gears into this motion. And it's just gonna rapidly change directions of all the internal components of the transmission and that's super dangerous. You don't know, these teeth could chip off, they could snap, the gears could wear out easily, the lubrication isn't all the way through every single gear and every single teeth. So just give that extra split second when you're driving, come to a complete stop, and then switch gears again when you're going into reverse or vice versa. When you're going into reverse, stop, give your transmission a second to get into drive and then you can drive along and the gears will just easily mesh together. It's probably a little weird seeing gears look like this with my fingers, but it's a good illustration of what's happening internally in the transmission. And there you, wait, wait a second, oh. And there you guys have it. Those are my five things on what not to do to an automatic transmission. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you learned something today, please let me know in the comments below what you learned and what things that you were kind of guilty of. It's totally fine. We're all guilty of these mistakes. And if you start implementing these small changes, you really can save your transmission. It can you save yourself thousands of dollars. The transmission is one of the most expensive parts in a car and we don't want to replace that. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, smash the subscribe button if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next one.